a groundbreaking discovery in diabetes you should know today. Hi everyone, a new study just came out a few months ago about the diabetes and how we can actually cut the risk of organ failure due to diabetes. So today we will talk about this study and I think you need to know this. I am Dr. Ahmed Ergin, I'm an endocrinologist and I'm a diabetes specialist. So let's get started and look into the study a little bit deeper. Now, this study found or found out that diabetes affects the stem cells in muscle to make fat and connective tissue. Now, what does it mean, right? So according to researchers, the discovery has a lot of implications for the medical field. So I'll go over the study right now and I'll make it simple for you. But if you want to go into the nitty gritty and all the other details that I don't talk about, you can read the whole study and I will put the link in the description below for my curious viewers. So the cells that the researchers from Steno Diabetes Center have found are in the skeletal muscle, but they're also in a lot of other parts of the body too. So these are the cell types in diabetes who make fat and scar tissue. So when a buildup of connective tissue, what we call fibrosis happens, and that if that happens in the fat cells, it hurts the fat and the muscle and it basically disables them. So the researchers have looked at how type 2 diabetes changes the skeletal muscles. So see what happens in skeletal muscle when you have diabetes. They found that fibrosis and fat are made within the muscles by the connective tissue cells when you have diabetes. So that's not surprising because one thing about diabetes we know is that the tissue fills up with fat and scar tissue, right? I will get to the surprising part in a minute, right? But because the cells are found all over the body, these connective tissue cells, they think that the clinical perspective can be very, very big. Uh, many diabetes-related diseases are basically caused by the buildup of fat and scar tissue in the skeletal muscle and the other parts of the body. Now, interestingly, when they looked at gene expression in single cells, they found the cells they make, that make fibrosis and store fat in skeletal muscle tissue. So they also discovered you know, how genes are expressed in a cell that isn't healthy compared to a healthy cell. In order to learn more about people with type 2 diabetes, they looked at how the cells changed during diabetes. Now, some things caused the cells to grow and divide more quickly than they should have. This means that some cells play a big role in how much fat and fibrosis buildup occur in our skeletal muscles. Now, this discovery also explains why many doctors find that when they take tissue samples from skeletal muscles of people with diabetes, they find that they have a lot of sugar, fat, and fibrosis in those skeletal muscles. Again, when there's a biopsy done on a type 2 diabetic, they always find full of scar tissue, fat, and other things that should not be there. Now, because the same cells are found all over the body. We can think that they also cause fat and scar tissue in other parts of the body. Now, to say this, it is likely that they also play a big part in people with a wide range of illnesses having problems with things like heart, kidneys, and liver. So if you have a fatty liver, if you have a kidney failure, if you have a heart disease due to diabetes, it is definitely due to that reason. Now, we're going to talk about how to stop that, right? Of course. Now, here's a key point. People who have type 3 diabetes usually get started on metformin, which is usually the first medicine they take. Now, people who can't tolerate tend to use berberine or sometimes even dehydroberberine, which is available on our website at sugarmds.com. But in this study, the researchers looked at how metformin affects the development of fibrosis forming and fat forming cells. So they found that metformin treatment actually makes those naughty cells that make fat and fibrosis less likely to divide, which could 
cut down on the amount of fat and scar tissue in your muscles. So in this case, it shows that the medicine, the metformin we give to people with diabetes does more than just lowering the blood sugar levels. Now, no wonder why berberine and dehydroberberine also have anti-aging and other features, right? Because they're very similar to metformin. There are a lot of new drugs that are there that are being discovered for diabetes. Um, we need to know more about them and how they're really working. We know a lot about metformin because it has been in the market for over 40 years. Now, the Cell Metabolism, a scientific journal, has actually published the results of this research a few months ago. They showed that the bad cell growth may actually start very, very early in the disease. That's why I always tell my patients, you know, don't wait, don't ignore your pre-diabetes, don't ignore your insulin resistance. When you have type 3 diabetes, you don't have to have it for a long time before your muscle and organ tissues start to change in different ways, start accumulating fat and fibrosis. So that's why a lot of insulin resistant people are very tired and they're very sluggish, they're, you know, their strength is not there anymore. And your muscles are not going to be able to respond, so you're not going to find that energy to work out and to go back to your previous state. So act early. Now, if you have, for example, type 2 diabetes, you are less likely to die from the disease itself, right? People don't necessarily die from high blood sugars. They die from complications that come with it. Your heart may fail, your kidney may stop working, or your different organs may stop working because they have been overworked for a long time and they have developed all the scar tissue and fat deposits. So, it is also important for us to know where the connective tissue and fat tissue come from and why they show up in an organ where they are not usually found, right? So if you want to treat complications of diabetes, we need to know this. Now, by learning about these cells that make a lot of fat and fibrosis in different tissues, we can make a medicine that can maybe stop them from doing these bad things and thus reducing the risk of organ failure. Remember, other than the metformin, there are some natural ways you should consider to reduce the inflammation, the fibrosis and fat accumulation in your tissues. Again, eating healthy, exercising, and also considering the hydroberberine, which is present in our Sugar MD Super Berberine product, as a great alternative to metformin if you cannot take metformin. Nothing against metformin here. Also make sure that you use benfotiamine, uh, alpha-lipoic acid, and B-complex vitamins that are also all packed together in our Sugar MD Neuropathy Support. So these are the things that you can do in addition to your personal efforts to try to avoid diabetic complications. Now, most importantly, again, keep your blood sugars under control. Keep a good diet, keep a good lifestyle changes, exercise every day, and again, if not enough, look into dietary supplements at an additional. Now, SugarMD Advanced Glucose Support is another very powerful uh, supplement to lower your blood sugars. So, and if all that fails, right, you, and your blood sugars are still high, then you have to use a medication to keep the blood sugars as close to normal as possible. Now, that's it for today. Please remember to like, write a comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Also, remember to check out our website at sugarmds.com. Talk to you in the next video. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying this channel so far and I hope you subscribed already. If you didn't, do it. And if you did, watch this video right there. I think that will help you too.